Hello friends, today we want to talk about a system. Its name is Zubin, the newest short-range defense from Iran. We will explain its specifications here. So, stay with us until the end of this video. Zubin was built to face drones and incoming cruise missiles. This system acts like a close guard of the sky. Whenever something comes low altitude, Zubin is ready quickly. Here, it plays the final role in air defense. The story of Zubin started decades ago inside Iranian defense. At that time, Iran wanted to buy from South Africa. Sanctions blocked that deal completely and stopped the whole progress. But the idea stayed alive inside Iranian military engineers. After many years, Iran developed a land version of Nawab. This land version became what we now call Zubin. First time it appeared in the 2022 air defense drills. Everyone realized Iran wanted a new last layer system. Zubin is mounted on a big six-wheeled truck. That means it can easily move and change its location. All parts of the system sit directly on the truck. The launcher, radar, and command unit are placed together. The radar of Zubin can detect around 30 kilometers. It can even identify small drones flying at low height. Tiny radar signatures are not a problem for this radar. It provides a complete 360-degree coverage. Zubin can simultaneously track around 100 separate targets, but engaging eight targets together is practically possible right now. This feature is important against swarm or group attacks. So even many drones come, Zubin is still ready. Zubin's missiles are small but accurate and launch vertically upwards. Eight missiles sit in two separate four-pack containers. After firing one package, crews can quickly replace with another. This makes reloads faster during battlefield combat operations. Missiles lack active seekers. They follow commands from ground radar. Signals are sent and missiles adjust their path accordingly. Near the target, warhead explodes with a proximity fuse. This explosion destroys the target even without direct impact. The missile engagement range is estimated about 20 kilometers. Plans exist to extend this range towards 25 kilometers. That number is solid for a short-range defense system, especially when facing fast cruise missiles or attacking drones. Zubin has special design to counter kamikaze unmanned drones, because drones usually fly low altitude during operational missions. This system covers exactly that layer with quick response, so it becomes a trusted shield for bases and sites. One important feature is vertical launch from the containers. That allows missiles to fly in every needed direction. The launcher does not waste time rotating or adjusting. This means faster reaction to sudden nearby threats. Zubin also includes a networked command system inside the truck. It connects directly with other national air defense systems. That means data from big radars enters this system. The result is full coordination inside the defense network. In practice, once a threat appears, Zubin locks quickly. The radar tracks it and missiles are launched immediately. Each missile flies along its path following given commands. Finally, the target is destroyed, or at least damaged. The system remains stable when missiles are launched very fast. A stabilizing plate under the launcher keeps balance correctly. This ensures the truck does not shake during firing. This stability increases the accuracy of every launched missile. The number produced has not been officially announced yet. Reports only said production began around year 2022. No exact figures about total units are available publicly.
so official information on numbers still does not exist. Pricing of Zubin has never been revealed officially anywhere. That is normal because military projects are usually classified. We can only guess the costs are quite significant since advanced radars and missile technologies are included inside. Zubin has appeared during several army and guard exercises. One example was the Defenders of Velayat Skies drill. It is reported deployed around sensitive areas like Tehran. That shows its importance inside the National Defense Network. Some media called Zubin the Iranian Iron Dome equivalent. That comparison comes from its role against short-range threats. But Zubin's range is different from the Israeli system. It focuses more on cruise missiles and aerial drones. Other Iranian systems like Ninth of Day and Majid exist, but Zubin differs with vertical launch and network-centric features, so its capabilities are more advanced than earlier models. That is why many consider it a next generation. Zubin is also compared with Russian Pansir defense system. Both are short-range designs built for low-altitude threats. However, Pansir carries cannons too, while Zubin only missiles. Still, their operational roles are considered nearly very similar. In China, the HQ-17 system is a close counterpart. Both have engagement ranges close to 20 kilometers effective. But Iranian design strongly emphasizes high mobility on trucks. That gives Zubin faster repositioning during battlefield operations. A big advantage of Zubin is containerized missile storage. These containers increase missile lifespan inside warehouses or bases. Transport and preparation are easier under combat situations. So, crews can reload missiles very quickly during missions. Overall, Zubin is an effective last-layer defense. When other systems fail, this layer still intercepts threats. That is vital for bases and critical national facilities. It represents the final protective chance against enemy weapons. So, friends, that was the full introduction to Zubin. We looked at its history, specifications, and operational uses. I hope these casual explanations were useful for you. Please share your thoughts and spread this video everywhere.